Meghan, 37, felt too bruised and raw to speak to him after her father sold her out by revealing details of his conversations with husband Prince Harry. So she asked mum Doria Ragland, who was one of the first to know of the couple's happy news, to do it instead. A royal source said, Meghan was extremely upset and bruised over what happened with her father. She felt let down and betrayed after he spoke to the press, when she'd asked him not to, so she thought the best way forward was not to speak to him. She and Harry were surprised at how quickly she got pregnant, and obviously one of the first people she told was her mum. But she had decided not to speak to her dad and it was still too raw for her to ring him and tell him the good news. She didn't want him to know at all, but Doria persuaded her that Tom should know and she would tell him before it was announced publicly. For the time being, she won't speak to her dad. It's self-protection really. How can she trust him after everything he's said? Never say never and maybe she will in the future but she hasn't spoken to him since just after she married in May and won't for the foreseeable future. She also instructed all her staff to make no comment publicly on anything relating to her father, as she thought silence was the best policy. Of course she was devastated by him not coming to her wedding and publicly speaking out, but she wanted to maintain a dignified silence. There's a good chance Tom will never meet his grandchild. Kensington Palace announced Meghan and Harry were having a baby, due in the spring, last Monday just as the couple started their three-week tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. This morning, she missed appointments after Harry told her to rest and cut back, telling pals pregnancy takes its toll. The son on Sunday understands the Duchess is at least 15 weeks pregnant and is doing well with the baby due mid-April. But the rift with her dad is bound to cause sadness. Tom, 74, stunted up paparazzi pictures before Harry and Meghan's wedding in May, then failed to walk his daughter down the aisle after a suspiciously timed heart attack. Meghan forgave him for the pap pictures, but cut off contact after the royal wedding. Tom then spoke out in a series of angry interviews demanding his daughter contact him. Meghan is very close to social worker mum Doria. 62, who has regularly flown over to the UK this summer to visit her daughter and son-in-law. A source said, Doria is not moving to London, but will want to help Meghan as much as possible. This will be her first grandchild and she's over the moon. Meghan Markle is expecting her first child with Prince Harry next spring. But how exactly will she will spending her maternity leave and spare time? Kensington Palace confirmed Meghan and Harry will welcome their first baby next year who will be seventh in line to the throne. The palace said, their royal highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their royal highnesses have appreciated all the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Meghan is expecting to give birth in the spring of 2019 and she has reportedly had her 12-week scan, and many royal correspondents are speculating that she will give birth in April or May next year. The gender of the baby has not been confirmed and Meghan and Harry are likely to follow in William and Kate's footsteps by not revealing the gender until after the child is born. The couple are on their first official foreign tour together in Australia, which is where they broke the news of the pregnancy. When asked by a group of schoolchildren what they would name their firstborn on board a tram in Melbourne during their trip, the Duchess said, We've been given a long list of names from everyone, we're going to sit down and have a look at them. Ella Burns a 12-year-old pupil from Albert Park Primary School said, she said that she hasn't thought of one as it was still quite early. Meghan will be taking time off after the birth of her first child, just as Kate has done when she gave birth to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duchess of Cambridge returned to work on October 2 after a six-month break from official engagements. Royal biographer Duncan Larkham told Bazaar.com. It is traditional for new royal mums to take a six-month break from official engagements. Meghan revealed to be like most of us when she revealed what she likes to do in her spare time. 
The Duchess told 12-year-old Ella she didn't have much spare time but when she does she enjoys relaxing and watching TV shows. But she did not disclose which was her favorite, there's heaps, I can't think of a specific one. The Duchess of Cambridge did not spend much time relaxing during her maternity leave this time as she spent a lot of time doting on her two other children, Prince George, 5 and Princess Charlotte, 3. Kate carried on with her motherly duties, picking up and dropping George at Thomas's Battersea. And dropping off her daughter Charlotte to Wilcox Nursing School, which is one mile away from home. The Duchess tries to keep a low profile during her maternity leave but some images from her pregnancy of Princess Charlotte showed her dropping George to Buckingham Palace for his swimming lessons. Despite Kate being on maternity leave earlier this year she was spotted in public on numerous occasions. Namely at the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Prince Louis christening and trooping the colour. Punters are convinced Meghan Markle is pregnant with twins after bookmaker Coral took a sudden rush of bets on her giving birth to two babies. Coral has cut the odds on Meghan Markle having twins when she gives birth next spring from 8-1 to 2-4-1 after taking a flurry of bets over the last 24 hours. The Duchess of Sussex is also 51 to have triplets, while a boy is the favorite at 10-11 in the gender betting. Coral's John Hill said. Many punters feel as though Meghan and Harry will have their hands full with not one but two babies next year. We have seen a rush of bets since their announcement for the couple to have twins. Coral is also taking bets on the name of Meghan and Prince Harry's first child, with James a huge early favorite at 7-1. Other notable names receiving bets are Victoria at 8-1, Thomas at 12-1, Diana and Elizabeth both at 16-1, and Philip at 21. Outside bets include Donald and Kanye, after Donald Trump and Kanye West, at 151, while Theresa, after Prime Minister Theresa May, is a huge long shot at 201. Mr. Hill added, over 60% of all the bets we have taken so far have been for James who is the early favorite. But if it is a girl, Victoria, Olivia and Diana are the names which are being heavily backed. On Monday. Bookmakers predicted punters could pile in more than pound six million in wagers as speculation over the name of Meghan and Harry's baby reaches fever pitch. Betting intelligence website www.bookmakers.tv said the rush to place bets will outstrip that witnessed with all three of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's children. Such is the popularity of Harry and Meghan royal fans will rush to speculate on the name. Arrival date and much more in volumes massively eclipsing the estimated £3 million registered for the entirety of the Cambridge family. Spokesman Alex Coston said, Meghan and Harry's popularity is off the charts and their good news will send the public into a royal betting frenzy of epic proportions. Fans are so keen to speculate on every aspect of the baby and millions will be riding on the name, arrival date and sex among many other predictions. He added, Bookies will be desperate the pair go for an outside choice of name as if they follow tradition, royal watchers will cash in like never before. Bedford spokeswoman Katie Bayless said, at this stage Diana, Arthur, and Alice, which was favored at different stages for Kate and William's babies, are the 12-1 front runners. However, with months until the baby is born, those odds will shorten, change and other names will come to the forefront, so watch this space. Jessica Bridge of Ladbrokes added, with Meghan's USA roots it would be remiss of bookmakers to rule out an American moniker featuring somewhere. Meghan is currently on her first global royal tour with Harry, and has been showing off her pregnancy glow during their first visits in Australia. Their 16-day trip will see them watch the Invictus Games, and then fly to Fiji, Donga, and New Zealand, before returning to Australia for their final stop. Prince Harry has spoken out for the first time since news broke of Meghan Markle's pregnancy. The Duke of Sussex thanked the Governor-General and Lady Cosgrove at Admiralty House for their hospitality at an afternoon reception, before speaking about Meghan's pregnancy. Good day, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, he began. 
It is obviously great to be back in Australia and even more so because this is my wife's first visit here, so I am very excited to show her this wonderful country of yours. Australia is of course home to some of the world's best sporting talent, but what you are about to see at these Invictus Games will, quite literally, astound you. During the speech, he spoke of his love for the country, and said he was thrilled he and Meghan got to share their pregnancy news while in Australia. He added, a demonstration of the power of the human spirit, the power of sport to change lives and the power of feeling part of all of this from the stands. There really is something for everyone. Thank you Your Excellency and Lady Cosgrove for giving us your magnificent home for the week. We are inviting all of our mates in Sydney. Finally, we are both absolutely delighted to be here. We are really impressed to see you serving beer and tea at an afternoon reception in true Aussie style. We couldn't think of a better place to announce the upcoming baby. Yesterday, Kensington Palace officially confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex was expecting. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, they shared on Twitter. The news came after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family. Previously. New Idea learned that the palace was talking in riddles without stating the obvious before the royal tour to Australia and New Zealand before she was given the three-month all-clear. <laughs>